So kind of limited on time. So I'm going to give you a brief overview of two of the big uh, features that are in this version that Terry just installed. Um, one of the features is <clears throat> this new window for for branching logic and um, calculated fields. So if we have uh, like this field here has some branching logic, if I click on the branching logic and I click in the window, it creates a modal window and it has um, it has some bracket matching. So if I go over here and just copy one of these, um, formulas and show you. So you can see here that it highlights the matching braces so that way I can make sure that I've closed my parentheses and my brackets so it lets you know where you're at. Just a little bit of a help. Um, and this will show up anywhere you have A, uh, a formula or so if you have a calculated field and we click in here it gives you that logic editor for uh, functions and the same thing if you're in the uh, alerts and notifications like you saw earlier with Alma's project if she had to open that to do the branching logic for all of those notifications this logic editor would pop up same thing for your survey notifications. If you're sending out automated invitations, this logic editor will pop up. And it also has a full screen mode. Um, that way it helps. If you click on this, it goes full screen. Um, you have a question, James? Yeah, uh, so after the update, uh, I think I sent some uh, buttons. Uh, for some reason, I can, it, it works just fine when I go to my instrument and edit the branch and logic from what I went to uh, the alerts and notifications. Uh, my existing alerts and notifications, I could not input anything or modify anything in uh, the branch and logic field. What project were you uh, working on? Uh, it is um, 8939. You mind if I show that? Okay. So just any of these that you clicked on? Yeah. And it so it would it would open this way, but it wouldn't let you edit anything. Now, it, I wonder if it, is it a permission thing? Yeah, that's what I was going to check. No, looks like it's working. All right, hang on, and then I'll try and hop on and maybe try a different browser. Uh, Sure, I can do that. Uh, but, you know, I, I've been building my whole project in Firefox. Uh, he's, he's got all the permissions. He, he, it's not a permission. Okay. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm in that window right now, and I could just, like, my keyboard was going to be there. And yet, if I go to like a, a part of the instrument, I have no problem making it. Strange. And and this is for any of the alerts. You can't edit any of them. Any of the alerts. All right. Hey, man. Yeah. Try that. Try change yourself. Yeah. That's what I just 
Yeah, I just did that. Oh, did you? Yeah. I was too busy watching, looking at a different screen. Sorry. Yeah, All I right. changed to him, and they let me let me do it as well. Um, and you, so you say you're building in Firefox? Yep. Uh, I'm gonna log in here, and I remember my password for. Firefox. Your password for Firefox? Or not, not my password for RedCap. It's, it's, uh, oh. <laughs> okay. I had to change it recently and then I never remember it. <laughs> and I, and I, when I work in Chrome, it automatically, I have uh, LastPass that fills it in for me. Um, so, okay, now I'm in Firefox. Let me change myself to you. Yeah. So it doesn't even let you click. When you click in here, it doesn't even open for you? It opens. It opens, but it doesn't let you type? Yep. How about if you create a new alert? Wait a minute. Can you edit that one? I don't know. Looks like it's not letting me. All right. So it's a Firefox bug. Oh yeah, that's weird. It just completely All right. Clo it just closed me out of red cap for some reason. Yeah. All right. Okay. So I gotta put I gotta put that in. Good call.